cookery. We're quite excited about this bit. This is a British classic. Phil is here with a masterclass in cooking steak and with sauce for your supper. Absolutely. Here it is. There we are. Look at this here. So, we've got the steak there, left with mm. the chips, chimichurri. I've got a, a cauliflower steak there and also a swede steak and a classic ribeye there with chimichurri or Bernays sauce, which you come on to. Right, let's talk about steak. Here on this little board here, we have a selection of steaks. Rump, rump steak. Up that's here. A big one, isn't it? Top of your backside. Um, that's sirloin, which is cut from up here, and, and then fillets on the inside of the sirloin. Which one are we eating? You're eating ribeye, which is for the other end of the sirloin. Ooh. Oh, Top OK. End, okay. Normally, it's around about 15 to 20% of fat content, which to me, I think is a beautiful steak. You're cooking oh, either barbecue or Because that means flavour. Absolutely. Now, a little tip here. If you buy. Mm. Is that all right? Mm -hmm. It's delicious, and this is medium, just the way I like Perfect. It. Now, if you mm. buy steak in a supermarket or from a, a, a wholesale or whatever, and it's in a vac pack bag, great little tip. But undo it, put it in the fridge for a couple of days, if you can, just to dry out. A couple of days? Yes, because it, it's, it's full of water. Now, oh, my God. If you want to cook it quickly, great little tip here. In here, I've got a little bit of corn flour or starch, arrowroot, tapioca, it's anything so like that. Good. And what you do is you just dust the steak with a little bit of the starch, not a lot, just on the steak, like almost like a dusting. And what does that do? That seals it. So it's when you put it into a pan, like I'm going to do now, oh. that seals straight away. And if it is a bit of moisture in there, it doesn't boil. It'll oh. keep it a barrier from the frying in the oil and the moisture. That's brilliant. So it will actually um, seal it. And because it's mm -hmm. sugar-based as well, so, well, carbohydrate-based, mm -hmm. it seals pretty much straight away. Mm -hmm. Now, talking about um, uh, steaks, in here, I'm going to roast, well, pan fry this for probably two or three minutes. Barbecue, griddle pan, whatever you want to do. As I said, Ruth was taking the mickey earlier. Mm -hmm. You cook it however you want it cooked, but you must leave it. That's been rested for 20 minutes, your steak. And mm. just warm. Because you'd panic that it would go cold, but this isn't Exactly. Cold. So what you do, keep the pan on the stove, cook the steak, cover it in a bit of foil, and then just your serving, put it back in the pan, just warm it through like I've done this one here. Oh. So that's had two or three minutes either side, and you'll see you get, there's no moisture there whatsoever. That has actually come out like rested. How do you it. know if I would like rare yep. and Alison likes medium? How do you know? Right. It's you can use nowadays you use a thermometer. 50 degrees is rare, 58, 62 is medium rare, and I think above 70. And you stick the thermometers in the middle ends yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Or you can do it this way. This is the old school way of doing it. So on your hand here, if you touch that bit there, that's quite soft. That's rare. What you medium. Then well, well done. Clever. Rare. Medium yeah. or well done, and you'll feel the tension in the muscles. That's Slightly very different. clever. If just, of course, getting yourself out of the car, honestly. I just yeah. feel rare everywhere. I do. I do. <laughs> Soft everywhere. Anyway, moving on. Now, <laughs> so, I've cut, so what I've done is I've cooked, <laughs> I've cut the steaks. Let's talk about Bernays sauce. They're my classic, my favourite here. <laughs> in this pan here, I have a reduction of white wine or water and vinegar. Yeah. A little bit of shallot, a little bit of um, peppercorn. Tarragon stalks or tarragon um, uh, leaves as well, or you can just put tarragon vinegar. Mm -hmm. and you want to boil that till half the volume is gone. It's about 100 ml, so you're left with that little bit just there. Mm -hmm. Okay. In this pan, I have six egg yolks. Okay, but I've added that reduction too, so that has gone into there without the bits in it. Right. Okay. Because you saved it. Yeah. And this is the most important thing. You need to whisk that over a pan of water until you can see the steam on top there. Could this turn into yes. scrambled eggs? Absolutely. Is that why you were going like that? Yeah, you right? but once you get to a certain stage, once it's warm, it's about 40 degrees, that will thicken, OK? And you see the steam coming mm -hmm. off that? That means it's actually hot. Now, if it's not hot enough, it won't hold the, the butter. Now, on, as a safety net, now, when you make Bernays sauce when I was a chef, you meant to use clarified butter, which was no... Uh, just the pure um, fat on top. Mm -hmm. I like the butter, all the solids in the way. I think it gives a nice flavour. Mm -hmm. And then if that butter's really hot, you can then just whisk in, like that. You whisk in the hot butter into those egg yolks, and because they're cooked, look at that. It just come together and perfectly. That's it. Now, if you add a bit too much or it's a bit too hot, it will get a bit thicker. You just add a little touch of water to that, hot water, and it'll let it down beautifully. The same wow. applies with mayonnaise. Mm. And when you finish that, all you need, like I've done with yours, is squeeze a lemon and your tarragon. Lots and, and lots magic. of chopped tarragon. And that gives that beautiful tarragon flavour. Mm, so now, good. at that point, turn the stove off, cover the cling film, and just leave it on the side. There's enough heat in there to keep that for half an hour. Right. OK, back to the steak. Now, I'll just turn this over and you'll see that that's starting to... Look, see, look at that. That's the starch on there. See that? Yeah. crunchy top on it. And that just so seals good. it. So there's no water coming out. 
it will just seal it. So if you don't do that seal, you'll be you'll have loads of gravy, won't you? It depends if it's been in a vac pack, matured in a vac pack, or if it's been dry aged. Yeah. You shouldn't get any at all. That's mm. been dry aged. But even then, you don't get anything. Mm. Wow. But that starch just Love holds it. it. Now, so that's there. Now, chimichurri, Alison, we've had this in Brazil. Would well, you know what? I just tasted <laughs> it and it literally took me back to Did Brazil. It really? yeah. yeah, I remembered it. We were in a hotel and then. the guy cooked us probably ten types of, of sausages and meat oh, and different amazing. cuts. And he made chimichurri. And this is his recipe. Um, it's basically like a salsa verde. So it has chilli, it has garlic, lots it has garlic. oregano, lots of garlic, um, parsley, coriander, touch of olive oil, vinegar, and a little pinch of sugar just to take the edge off the um, off the uh, uh, the vinegar. Yeah. And if you can just chew it up, keep it quite rustic, as you've seen here. And that's that one there. Look at that. So that's that's where it is. Now I'm just going to serve my steak, which I've already cooked. Because I want to put the chimichurri mm. on top of it. It's just delicious. It is. But again, I know Ruth took the Mickey a little bit there, but sh we've always used to say it. That's what you're after. Look at that. Beautiful, rare. That is stunning. Rare steak. That's lovely. And yet cooked and the, on the outside. And the chimichurri, I just like to put a little bit just in the middle of there like that. And it's absolutely delicious. Now, if you don't want to eat steak, a couple of little things here. This is the humble swede. Now, I love swede. I've cut this in a nice thick wedge or slice. You put that into a pan, cover it with olive oil, put it into a small pan so you don't use that much oil, a little bit of garlic, and you just poach it 15, 20 minutes. Yeah. It's like sweet potato. It doesn't does. It? And then you need to get to this stage and then you roast it in a griddle pan, season it with salt and pepper, it's a bit of garlic, so delicious. And onion. It's really and it, good. Actually, it's really nice. And that goes well with Bernay sauce it does. or chimichurri. Or if you want to go the classic, which I've got over here, which was. It's quite, it's quite um, old hat now, but you get the, um, the cauliflower steak. We'll put that on there, you can see that. Cauliflower steak, that has a mixture of uh, paprika, chilli, garlic granules and uh, onion granules. It's nice and dry. A bit of turmeric, a bit of colour. Again, with chimichurri, rocket chips. And you just pan fry that? Just pan fry it, and, or you can baste it in the oven, or under a hot grill. I love that. Oh, that yeah. All mm. of that was so good. Thank you so You're much, Phil. Girl. I'm a happy girl. I'm not leaving until this is finished. <laughs> so we just stay. After the show. I'm not going anywhere. Let's just stay here. It's yeah. my lunch. <laughs> Thank you, Phil. Pleasure. All of today's uh, details and recipes and more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chefs, you can head to This Morning app.